it's about 7.30 in the morning. I just got off of work, and I just worked a part shift. And then now, later, I got to go back and work a full shift. And I'm really tired, and I want to go back to bed. But I figured, eh, now's as better time as any to do a talking Movies double feature. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm Gino Reynolds, the real Gino. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about two different movies. Um... Here's the thing, though. One of them I thought was going to be okay, and it wasn't. And one of them I thought was probably going to suck, and I kind of enjoyed it. It was a very confusing time at the movies this weekend. Um, the first movie we're going to be talking about is Wonder Park, uh, which was originally called amusement park uh but was renamed wonder park for some reason i don't know why they didn't call it wonderland that was the name of the amusement park in the movie but that's that's an argument for another day i can't find anything on it uh what this movie is about is you have this girl and her mother who they are building this huge amusement park uh, model within their house, her room around the house. Uh, it's very creative, and uh, what it is is when they're building it. Anytime the little girl comes up with an idea, uh, the mom whispers uh, whatever the daughter wants into the ear of this stuffed monkey named Peanut, and the stuffed monkey within the uh, imaginary world, or at least we think imaginary world. Uh, builds whatever it is they want. So, uh, long story short, mom gets sick. They don't specify with what. Uh, they just said she gets sick. You imagine it's probably cancer or something like that, but they don't really say. They keep it very vague. Um, so she has to go away and get treatment. They don't specify for how long either. Um, so... This girl ends up uh, getting angry at all of this and uh, kind of throws the amusement park to the side. Um, she puts it all away, shuts it down, um, doesn't want to talk about it, all this stuff. Um, she ends up going to math camp. And by the way, this, this movie was released on the 15th. Uh, and... The preview night was on the 14th, uh, Pi Day, P.I. Day. Um, and it's crazy because this movie, on the way to math camp, they're on a bus singing a song about Pi, uh, the math type. And I thought that was hilarious. If that is a coincidence, it is one of the biggest coincidences ever. I don't know if it is. I can't find anything on it, but anyway. Um, anyway, she starts to... Th this happy-go-lucky girl... It, all of a sudden when her mom gets sick she becomes like overly protective of her dad and more serious and less happy-go-lucky and growing up a little too fast I guess and she decides to get off the bus and go home she's got to go home so she ends up getting off the bus before they get to math camp she ends up in the forest and this leads her to her what she thought was an imaginary amusement park uh wonder park uh or I'm sorry Wonderland. See how that's confusing? The movie's called Wonderland in the movie, but it's called Wonder Park. Oh, that's stupid. Um, but where I even begin about this movie? Uh, I did not like this movie, and I still don't really know all the reasons why I didn't like this movie. Maybe because it was trying to be so many different things, and it succeeded in none of them. Um, the biggest thing they're trying to do is be one of those uh, life lesson cartoons, uh, you know, like Inside Out was good at being, or uh, Toy Story 3 was good at being. But they also wanted to be, you know, just like those movies, and having creative and colorful characters that are funny and interesting. Um, they also wanted to have annoying little characters like minions. Uh, those would be your villains, the chimpan zombies, I believe they were called. They were creepy. Um, 
But this movie had all these different aspects to it. It's about the girl having to accept uh, that life isn't perfect, that you should never give up even though life isn't perfect. Uh, It has just elements of trying to be funny. And this movie, God, I don't even know how to talk about this movie. It's just not good because it's just so many different aspects it wants to be important it wants to be funny it wants to be entertaining it wants to have creative characters and it has none nothing i mean listen to this cast there's not there's some people that aren't too shabby in this cast especially when it comes to voice acting on some of them you have jennifer garner keenan thompson uh, mila kunis john oliver ken jong matthew broderick and i'm sure there's others and you know say what you will about movies that may be trying to cash in like your despicable me's or something like that at least uh, you can tell they somewhat tried this one just says you know what we've got all these different elements let's throw it all together um Again, it was just so all over the place. There's not much more I can say about it other than don't let your kids watch it. It's not funny. Even the stuff that you would think kids would normally laugh at, even if it's not for adults. You, I, I just don't think kids would find this movie that entertaining. Um, there's just not a lot here because, again, it just it's all over the place. It's trying to be funny one second. It's trying to be serious like two seconds later. And it's just not a good movie. I don't really know what else to say. The The characters aren't interesting. There's nothing special about the voice acting. The message is something you can get better in multiple different movies. The humor is something you can get better in a ton of different movies. It's just not worth checking out. There are better kids movies in the theater and on video. If you're looking for a message, you can find it. If you're looking for just pure entertainment, you can find it elsewhere. Please don't go see Wonder Park should be called Wonderland. Uh, The next movie we're going to be talking about is Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. Now, when I saw the poster for this movie, which by the way was like a week ago, um, it looks like something that would be like a made for TV movie, um, or a new show. Um, it, it just looks like it's not a theatrical thing, right? Like it it just, it doesn't, I mean, I'm sure it probably doesn't have a big budget behind it and all that. That doesn't surprise me, but it just seemed like it's, it's a made for TV movie or something. And I was expecting it to be now. Don't get me wrong. The, I'm not trying to say that this is a fantastic movie for me, but then again, this movie is not for me. Uh, this movie is for young girls mostly. Um, you know, I didn't grow up with Nancy drew a ton. I, I think I read maybe a Nancy drew book growing up. And I think it was probably something with the Hardy boys. I read a couple of Hardy boys books. I just wasn't into that stuff back then. I mean, I like mystery stuff now, but back then I really wasn't into that stuff. Um, I was more into like choose your own adventure probably back when those books were circulating big. Um, and this movie, so I I really wasn't expecting much from this movie. I thought I knew what this movie was going to be. And in a way, in a lot of ways, it was, uh, what I thought it was going to be. But that being said, I didn't think it was that bad. I'm not saying I, I would rush to go see it again. Uh, I'm not saying that it's a fantastic movie that everybody should go see, but for who it's made for, I thought it was all right. Um, I mean, it's a little all over the place. Uh, it's, you know, it's got characters that are, I mean, fairly cliche, but anyway, you know what? I, I better take a step back. Um, what this movie is about is, uh, Nancy Drew, Uh, her father moves them from Chicago to a small town. Um, and she is having trouble acclimating to small town life. Um, after she gets in trouble for standing up for 
a couple of her friends, when her friends are getting bullied or one of her friends is getting bullied, uh, they take a little revenge on the person that's bullying her. She gets in trouble, has to do community service. Um, well, this community service leads her uh, to being at the police station, which leads her to uh, meeting up with the person who she got even on's girlfriend uh, and, and her aunt, I believe it was, leading to this house being haunted. And she ends up going to try to figure out uh, what's going on at this house. It's an easy enough setup. Um, and it's one of those movies that, I mean, of course, if you're older and have seen mysteries, who is behind everything and what's going on, or at least for the most part, uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, there's really, there's, you know who the bad guy is. Uh, one of them, they introduced pretty early and you know, he's a villain, but you know, there's the hidden bad guy and the bad guy should have, you know, a mustache that he can twirl for you. Uh, whenever he's talking, it's like, oh, I'm your friend, <laughs> you know, so you know who the villains are, uh, heck the movie even foreshadows that, uh, the, the girlfriend of the guy and Nancy Drew are going to become best friends, even though they're worst enemies now. And they do, you know, they do become friends. And then of course the girl, it becomes friends with Nancy's friends too. And that's a storyline. Um, you know that it's going to have that Scooby-Doo feel where are the ghosts real or not? They're just, the movie isn't anything surprising. The thing is, uh, this movie stars Sophia, Sophia Lillis, who, uh, was in the movie, the, the theatrical movie it, she was Beverly Marsh and she's really good in it. And getting to see her do something a little different here was kind of nice because in it, I mean, she played a very tormented character and in this, she's playing a very just kind of happy go lucky type character. I mean, they do have a little bit with her, uh, grieving, uh, the, the death of her mom, um, and arguing with her dad about, you know, he had to move out of the city because it reminded him of the love of his life and, she wanted to stay in the city because it kept the memory of her mom with her. Um, but here's the thing. Sophia Lillis is very talented. And if she keeps it up, she's going to be really good. And in this, she, she her, anytime they need comedic timing, she does well. Anytime there's a little bit of emotion involved, she does well. She just keeps you into this movie again it's not for me but i can't say i had a terrible time with this movie uh it's not something you know my boys would want to sit down and watch but i mean maybe they would my my youngest might like you know the stuff happening uh the haunting of the house or whatever but just overall i mean it's it's a movie for little girls and that's okay it's not a bad one. Does it need a theatrical release? No. Um, it looks like it'd be something that would pop up again on just like TV. But again, I, I went to the theater expecting nothing and I thought it was okay. Again, the, the mystery, I mean, maybe the, the little bits and pieces of what's going on and how the hauntings happening and all that stuff. I mean, you're not going to be able to figure out the, the chemical parts of it and all that stuff. But, uh, the movie did a good job at just telling a straightforward young detective story, uh, just a young person solving a mystery. And again, if you enjoy stuff, uh, like Scooby-Doo, and I'm not talking about the live action movies, even though uh, they kind of have their charm. I'm not saying they're good. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just, you know, if you enjoy things like the Scooby-Doo cartoons, it's just, well, we know there's a reason we just have to figure it out. And then there's life lessons of, uh, you know, revenge isn't the answer. And, uh, there's life lessons of, uh, we, even though we're really different, we can get along. There's just all sorts of little things like that. 
Um, and it's, again, I had a good time. I don't know how, but I did. Again, I think a lot of it has to do with Sophia Lillis being very talented, and she just knows how to command a scene. And she works well with all uh, all of the other actors in the movie. Any Anyone she has to play off of, she does a really good job. Uh, they do kind of tease another movie. If it's a reference to a Nancy Drew book, I'm not sure. It's something about twins. Um, and I'm willing to bet that it's probably referencing another book again. My, my Nancy Drew knowledge is very limited. But if you have little girl that you want to show a, a movie about girls standing up for themselves and, and solving a mystery, this... This isn't a terrible movie. So, again, I wouldn't say rush to the theater to see it. But if you did, I know that there were three ladies sitting behind me. And then there was a, a lady there with her daughter. And everyone seemed to have a pretty good time. And I did too. That's going to be all for this edition of a Talking Movies double feature. If you have anything to say about either of these movies, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gina Reynolds. See you later.